In this demonstration of Barney's front office, I'm going to be taking you through how you can add, delete and uh, update a user's details in Active Directory via the uh, front office service catalogue. So we're going to log into the service catalogue which is uh, what end users would see and uh, in here we've got a number of categories that they can log into and what we're interested in today is this employee services section. So from here we've got uh, the ability to uh, add a new user into the system and to create their AD account. So I'm just going to click into that request and from here I'm going to just add in all the details uh, that we need to create the account. So we uh, just need to add in uh, these items here. Uh, when we select department that's going to be quite important uh, because it's going to automatically uh, filter that later on into the uh, finance department. Just need to complete the office etc. Standard desktop and then uh, within the Active Directory details box uh, what we can do now is to actually pull down via these uh, external list boxes which are accessing the Active Directory information um, that, that is stored on the domain uh, and what we're going to do is just to select that uh, on this one we're going to select the domain well I've only got one domain uh, to select from here but if there was more than that then, that, then I could select from that there here uh, as we said we're just going to select the, uh, the finance um, unit and because we selected finance further up the re in the request then that has uh, brought us only this particular uh, operational unit to select from here and that's really demonstrating that what we can do is we can filter um, the, uh, the external list box based upon the attributes uh, that are in the actual uh, request. Uh, now if I want to add uh, some groups uh, so I want this user to be a member of a couple of groups then we can just select these here and on this particular request I've set it up to select from just a couple of groups uh, but clearly you could add uh, more groups into your into this uh, request form uh, as you required okay so what I'm going to do now uh, that we've completed all those details is to go to the approvals tab uh, and what we set up here is uh, is an approval hook that's going to go out and actually create um, all of the create the AD account and uh, take all the information from this form uh, and and create that account. Now what I've also got on here is we're just demonstrating that we can have other approvers on here that are part of the uh, that are part of the approval workflow. In this case, we've got them coming after the approval hook because this is a demo and I want to show you the actual um, creation of the AD account but we could easily put these uh, approvers before uh, we actually went and did that. Okay so I'm just going to now submit that request and uh, you can now see all of the uh, details of the request in here and uh, what we can see additionally down here is we've got these uh, buttons for account name and email address. Now these fields weren't, uh, didn't appear uh, to the requester as they were making the request, but as that account is uh, is made, uh, so those fields will be populated uh, with, with the correct information. So if I just do a quick uh, refresh on that, and we'll see whether that account is actually. Uh, now being created. Indeed it has and it's now populated back both the account name and the email address. So if I go over onto uh, my uh, Active Directory monitor uh, then we can see now in here uh, that within finance we've got these existing users uh, John Smith uh, 4 and 5. If I do a refresh on this we can see that because we created a user uh, who had a username that already exists then the adapter has worked out that obviously you can't create uh, a, a user with, with an existing name. So what it's done is it's assigned this name, John Smith 06, and uh, if we look in the properties, uh, it's assigned this uh, email address as well to be unique. So the adapter sorts it out so that we always create uh, a new unique uh, Active Directory uh, name. Okay, so that's creating uh, a, a new user. So let's go back into uh, front office uh, and back to the service catalogue 
and uh, let's have a look at now modifying uh, a particular request. So we're going to go into the change Active Directory uh, user details. So again I'm going to select the uh, domain and we've only got one and uh, we're going to go and select the user that we want to update. So let's go and change this uh, John Smith uh, 006. So let's give him uh, a new name of uh, one and uh, we'll change the surname slightly. Obviously we can just update all of these details and uh, update the new uh, email account as well. I just need to put the uh, extension on there. And uh, we can also change them into a different operational unit. And you remember that on the first uh, screen where we selected a new user, because we selected finance as one of the uh, attributes in the request, it only came up with finance. But you can see here there's a number of different areas that we can, we can now select and we can now move him into business development. Again, if I wanted to change any of these groups or add some new groups in, uh, th then we can do that. So let's add him to that, that particular group there. Again, I click on the approval. This time we've just got the uh, the approval hook that's going to go and create uh, the uh, changes in Active Directory. Um, but again, as we said, if we wanted to add more change control in here, add a line manager, add a technical person, then we could do that as well. So let's uh, click on those, click on that, and that, that will now send that off uh, to be uh, updated. So if I refresh uh, this particular screen, then we'll see that John Smith 006 disappears from that view and if we now look in business development which is where we put him and do a refresh in there then we can see that he's now appearing in there. So we just need to now uh, have a look at the uh, properties and we can see now that all of the uh, properties have been updated in there and if we go and look at uh, the member of the groups he is then we can see all of the uh, groups that we've added uh, have been included in there as well. So this latest one that we added has been added in there. Okay, so finally we just want to look at how we may uh, disable that account. So again, if I go back into uh, uh, front office and uh, go on to the uh, offboarding an employee this time, then uh, we just need to again enter some uh, details in here on the user. and uh, put in the last day of employment. So we'll put that as today. Uh, and then we'll go in and select the domain that they're on and uh, go and select the particular user. So we're going to select this uh, John Smith 006. Again, select on the approver. This time, we've again, we've got the, this uh, approval hook first, but it could be anywhere in that list of approvers. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on submit that request. So that's now going to go and update uh, over in AD. And uh, if I just again do a get the properties up for that. And if we look in the attribute ed editor, then we can see now that this account has been set to expire today at uh, midnight. So that's a very uh, quick overview of uh, the integration that you can have from Bomney's front office. Uh, and uh, enables you to create an AD account, modify it, uh, and then uh, mark it up to be disabled. Um, if you have any more queries on this, uh, please contact, contact us at www.barmney.com. Thanks.